The following contest is a steel cage match and is for the Underground Women's Hardcore Championship. Here we go. She is ready. Introducing the champion. This title defense begins, and it really is lonely at the top, wouldn't you say? Once you're at the pinnacle, Saxton, you don't care about friends. You have one solitary goal, and that is to defend your title at any cost. Moonsault! She adjusts it and reverses it. A kick right to the mid. What a counter! Oh, 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 Kicks to the lower back, clutching the wrist. Just absolutely punishing their opponent here, relentlessly. Oh, stomping away. Wrists captured it. That was nasty. Good, ruthless striking. She's just appearing powerless to each attack. And every attempt of her own offense is being subdued. The champ taking their share of hits now. I think she's still got a shot here, Cole. She's just got to pick her opponent's weakness and start working on it. Good measure. Any words of wisdom for a competitor trapped inside a steel cage? You must find ways to use the harsh confines and the sheer size of the cage to your advantage. Throw your opponent into, maybe even off of the cage to inflict maximum pain. Make your biggest obstacle your biggest asset. Oh, quite an effective counter. Precise. Then again, momentum is shifted to her corner. Yeah, she is handling her business here. Debilitating attack on the leg. Knife ah. edge chop echoing through the arena. 
She manages to get control. And that one misses the mark. Submission locked in, nowhere to go, nowhere to go. Is she gonna take out? How much longer can she hold on? And she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. Hip in the corner. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And the spear! She looks hell bent on finishing things right now. This woman is ready to fight. Submissions, you absolutely have to put your opponent through a table to win. Talk about unpleasant. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. And she's using this moment to summon all of her strength. The old running haymaker counts. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Isn't gonna be good. Gunbuster across the shoulder. Filthy. 
The thing about a tables match is you can't really avoid contact with a table unless you can set up a table with telekinesis. But you have to be hyper aware of your surroundings because this match can end instantly. That's right, Corey. The only time you should be preparing a table is when your opponent is truly incapacitated. Attack from behind. Textbook neckbreaker. Oh, that hurt in the chest. She's starting to look concerned. The end game of a tables match is essentially adding insult to injury, Cole. She'll do well to avoid as much injury as possible from this point on. Doing whatever it takes. Really just laying it in. She flips it back on her. Heads out of the ring. What's next? No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. Back in the ring now. Kidneys. Golly. Oh, hard impact in the corner. Giving the people a chance to take in her undeniable greatness. Reversal. What a counter. Take it to the floor. What's she going to do? She re enters the ring now. And here they come. This is going to be good. for a fight. <laughs> Tornado tag with multiple teams facing off. Things are going to get frantic fast. Whatever team comes out of this with the hand raised is going to make a strong case for being the best in WWE. Just getting started. Look at this brutality. 
This is how you torture your opponent. in 
Oh, there's no. He gets there. A few seconds longer, and then he can. Breaks the hold. So oh, no, I thought it was over. Reed this is Come on, right? Tied up between the ropes. It's about to get worse. Look at these knee strikes. The WWE Universe on their feet. Look who it is. Here comes trouble. We all know this five-ton structure made of 2,700 feet of chain link does not just what it pushes. It rewards even... Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. I have no idea. Leaning his way out. And he's free. Byron, what do you think will be the factor that determines who wins this submission match? Time is just as important as strategy. You can know what you want to do, but you have to be able to realize when the right time 
time is to do it. If you see that opening, you can't waste any time. You have to take it immediately, which is why being so well-versed in submissions is an advantage. This kind of match is definitely advantageous for a technical competitor. Slippery for the man. Throwing European uppercut. Turning the tables there. Tough position to be caught in here. Strong elbows right on the mark. Springboard move. And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. He's returning fire. Straining those muscles. Kicks to the lower back. 
Clutching the wrist. Just absolutely punishing their opponent here. Relentlessly. Oh, 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 are you guys ready? Superstars in hostile competition. The MO of a fatal four-way match. No friends in a fatal four-way. You can look out for number one. in this kind of match are endless. Byron, what could we expect in this one? It's all about the dangers of the unknown. The fight could go anywhere. An attack. He goes for the quick pen attack. A powerful suplex time. No harm in seeing if he could finish him off quick there. He turns it around. Each competitor is showing they've done their homework. Down with a suplex. Paying it right back with a reversal. Expected that one. These two showing how well they each are. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Hurled away. He's taking some good hits. Great wherewithal on the counter. In full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. Good timing with that reversal. Oh, look at this combination of strikes. Oh, he's got 11 arms and feet. Oh, God. knee meets face. Oh, a nasty stop to 
finish it off. Makes him pay with a counter. Draped across the top rope. And this ought to be good. What power? power. Oh, wait a minute. Setting foot in the ring now. There they go. Elbow drop into the cover. Here he goes for the win. And he closes it out. He's able to beat a two count. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. He leaves the ring, and there's no count outs in this one. And finds a count. one of my favorites.
The ringside area is surrounded with tables, as it will take putting your opponent through a table to win this match. There are few things more satisfying than finally hearing a superstar go through a table. Well scattered reversal there. to soften up your opponent before trying to send them through a table. Oh, it's crucial. A damaged opponent is one that's easy to position and can't fight back when you put your plan in motion. What a punch! Whoa, just floating through the air. He deflects it right back. My goodness, look at this. Looks like he's got 11 arms and feet. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Oh, man. Great. Turn your lights out. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. From the top. Double axe handle. And this one might be headed ringside. Uh, big height on that moonsault. Consecutive high-risk maneuvers, and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. Sharp punch. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. Rock higher. It could be lights out. Elevated triangles in. This won't win the match, but there's still a fight left in him. He doesn't want to go out like this. He breaks it. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Oh! Answering back! Oh, right in there. And responds with a counter of their own. Perfectly placed target. On the side kick. To the outside. This could get wild. Of all the toys underneath the ring, he just had to go with the one that ensures splinters. Counter after counter. Coming in hot. And he's taking this to the outside now. I can't begin to imagine what he's got planned here, guys. Maybe it's a yard sale. Champ getting put to the test here. From way up. He paid for that one. Oh, man. Big time. <laughs> Buckle up. This is going to hurt. Still going. Endless blows. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. Wicked kick to the face. Oof, kick finds it. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Punch, are you kidding me? Textbook side rush and leg sweep. Rapid fire lights over and over. Oh, nasty stop to finish it off. Ah, oh, vicious knee to the face. It's been an elacious encounter thus far. The tides have swung in multiple directions. It's anyone's guess how this one's gonna end. Uh-oh. Oh, no. From behind. Oh, boy. Oh, reverse choke slam. Face first. 
Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. He's turning the tables. Into the ring again. This is how you torture your opponent. Oh my God, this is hard to watch. Oh, stop. He's back into the ring. Oh. Look at him. Pride and poise personified. Leg sweep. Not done there. Oh, just laying down punches. Just sits in. There's some power behind that punch. Measured knee drop. Fighting back with a counter. Catches a punch. Taking it outside the ring now. Into the barricade. Boom at the button. Early to back suplex. No. Kick to the spine. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Crotch locked in. Boom, teardrop 
suplex. Highly effective. And more to come. Ooh. The Cobra Clutch is cinched in into a slam. Ripcord. Oh my goodness, nasty line. These fans have packed arena and we're hearing every single voice. It is loud and it is mad in here. Tyson! And 
going through that table was the explanation.